Hey pilots, Hobbs here again, this time bringing you the G2 Assault Mech. Now, quite frankly, this really doesn't need a tutorial because this mech's really easy to use. Pause here for the mech stats as always. But as yeah, as I said, this mech is really, really easy to use, and if you've already uh, known how to pilot the Assault Mech, uh, you know, you pretty much already know how to pilot this. In fact, it's even easier than the Assault Mech is. But, you know, I said I was going to do uh, cover all of the mechs in the game, and so I will. So you'll still get a video, and I'll still give you my insight on this mech. However, I will say it's probably my least favorite, but I'll still cover it. So let's begin. Now, why you ask this is my least favorite mech when the assault mech is probably my favorite mech in the game? Well, that's really easy. The G2 assault mech, it doesn't have a tow rocket. Simple as that. I mean, I love my tow rocket because of the burst damage. Uh, if you've ever seen previous videos, you already know I love me some burst damage. And the only thing that this thing outputs is sustained damage. Because, I mean, face it, it the weapons that this mech has is two mini Vulcans. The, the, the Vulcan XTs. They actually do about... Uh, both of them combined together, they do they do uh, about 135 damage per second, and the Vul and the regular Vulcan alone does 125 damage per second. That's right. It takes two Vulcan XTs to do only 10 more damage per second than a single Vulcan. You know, taking these facts into account, I mean, it's like two weapons will do only slightly better than the one alone and like what when i said the damage per second on the vulcan was 125 that's without even taking into account when you're shooting your tow rocket along with it that's just a vulcan just you know firing away and not even bothering to fire your tow rocket on the assault mech but yeah like i said the vulcan xts it takes both of them to do 135 so you know the damage output is just significantly uh, nerfed uh, compared to the regular assault mech but, and also the range as well, because the tow rocket has mid-range capability to it because of, uh, you know, it, even though it's a projectile weapon, it's still really accurate. However, the Vulcan, you know, is, as I said in my previous videos about it, that thing's for point blank, like getting right in somebody's face and, you know, just spraying them with bullets. If anything is outside of that range, they're just not going to take a lot of damage from you, so... Yeah, you know, it just, it has very limited range, and it just has, it just feels like this mech just really, uh, it could really use a bit more to it. I mean, pretty much the only thing that this mech has going for it is it's basically you got two machine guns on each hand, which, you know, might work out for some people. As I said, it's personally not my favorite, and uh, I know I've covered, like, a lot of the stuff that I've covered right now was, uh, probably not in this mech's favor, however, I will cover some of the good points about this mech. Also, just quickly before I go uh, over anything else, the ability is the same as the Assault Mech. It's weapons coolant, so obviously you can fire your double Vulcans for twice as long when you use the ability. You know, it's pretty much it. You just gotta hold the... Just pretty much all you gotta do with this mech is just hold the mouse down, both ma mouse buttons, and then hit coolant whenever the hell you need it. Uh, so, yeah, as far as basic piloting strategy, that's pretty much it. But yeah, I'm gonna cover actually reasons why... The reasons why you'd want to buy this mech, they're definitely not for practical reasons, because as you clearly heard me say that it was seeming for all the practical reasons, it's not its not doing so great, unless you get really up close and personal with somebody. However, the developers themselves said that the G2 mech line is going to be geared much more like uh, as for as a novelty, much more like for fun. Don't expect like uh, extreme viability in combat, because... Well, if the G2 mechs, because the way they're unlocked is that you have to max out your, the G1 mech that, of the same name all the way to rank 6 in order to purchase it with uh, Hawken credits, which is the grindable currency. However, you can unlock it early with Meteor credits, but, if, but you know, if the G2 mechs were uh, significantly better than the G1 mechs, uh, and people would get them early by unlocking with Meteor credits, that's a pay-to-win model, not a free-to-play model. That's... So let, I can see why they kind of made the G2 mix a bit more uh, for fun in that sense, because uh, that way, you know, uh, that way it won't really conflict with people who think like the game's like, oh, it's pay to win. Well, no, because you know, you uh, do you go through all that stuff and then you get something that's different, that's not necessarily better than uh, what most other people will have on the battlefield. It's it's just different. Uh, so now, uh, getting back on track on how to actually pilot this thing, you know, uh, if I'm not already repeating myself at this point, uh, yeah, just staying up close with enemies, and, uh, also, yeah, 
the main thing with this mech, I mean, because it is really easy to aim, all you gotta do is just make sure you keep your ridicule on your enemies, and then they should be taking damage from both of your Vulcans. So, what you should really do is focus on dodging all of their grenades slash tow rockets or, you know, sable rifles. I mean, you can't really dodge machine gun bullets, unfortunately. I mean, you're not Neo from the Matrix, and you can't stop all the bullets in midair. But just make sure that you're dodging rockets and dodging grenades, because those are what are actually gonna, you know, deal the most damage to you overall. And, uh, yeah. And if you're coming up against an enemy that ha that utilizes like burst damage or like you know they have like shotguns as like a, a a shotgun as their primary weapon, like you say you're up against a brawler, lure them out into the open and don't try to face them when they're too close to cover because you know they can play peekaboo against you and because you have zero burst damage and they have a ton, they're just going to be able to you know outperform you in that venue. So the best thing you can do is try to get them out in the open where your Vulcans will. Uh, just be able to tear them up, and they can't really, uh, and they won't be able to, you know, uh, output more damage, at, output uh, as much damage as you can as quickly. So that's where you have the advantage in this mech is out in the open and up close. And of course, that's really hard to do. So just remember, try to be sneaky. With uh, and uh, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but you only show up on radar when you dodge, boost, hover, or fire your weapons. If you're just walking and uh, you're not doing anything else, you won't show up on radar. So that's how you can be stealthy. And like I said, you're going to want to be a little bit more sneaky inside of this mech because you need to be able to get up close. I mean, you can sure, you can try to snipe in the G2 Assault mech. That's not really going to get you anywhere, though. I mean, you're probably going to, you know, plink away maybe a tenth of a scout's health at, after, like, you know, you overheat. But, yeah, uh, remember, this mech is, like, at a long range, don't even bo don't really bother. Unless, of course, maybe, and at, like, mid-range, I only use, I tend to, uh, I kind of use both Vulcans, but, you know, you sometimes I'll, you see me using only one when people are still, you know, quite a distance away. That's because I kind of want to get their attention and try to draw them closer and maybe, uh, you know, uh, bait them into trying to go after me. But at that point, I only use one Vulcan because I know my a lot of my bullets bullets aren't going to hit land, so I'm not going to bother wasting, like, you know, a bunch of extra heat just in case someone does close in on me. I can still, uh, you know, fight and not always have to use the ability. So as far as heat management on this mech, it's pretty damn easy. You just got to, you know, keep a watch on your heat. And then, like I said, when you're close to overheating and you don't have weapons cooling out, and you need to uh, still keep shooting. Just switch down to one a Vulcan, and uh, so you can still keep doing damage on them. And you're more likely to be able to finish them off and not overheat if you're only using one, because you know the heat's a lot more controlled and it's not, uh, you know, going up as rapidly. So it's a little bit more controllable that way. I will admit that uh, this mech is a little bit of a guilty pleasure for me because. Uh, I can say that this is probably the one mech in the game I can play while just completely brain dead. <laughs> like, like, I remember just like, the when I first got this mech, uh, I remember that night I was just like totally burnt out. I had been playing for a long time trying to grind the credits to get this thing. And uh, <laughs> I remember I was just so brain dead I couldn't even play my regular assault mech. I hopped into this thing and I actually did fairly well inside of it, I will say. This, like I said, this thing is the easiest to do. All you gotta do is just hold down your mouse buttons and then maybe you Maybe uh, let off one of the mouse buttons when you start to overheat and you don't have weapons coolant ready for you. But other than that, this mech is just really, really easy to play. Uh, you know, all you really have to do is just be able to sneak up close and then you know spin up both, both Vulcans. If you ever seen uh, any of my vi uh, videos that have like like on the assault mech, you know, all the stuff that I said about the Vulcan still goes. Like you know, they still have that spin up time. So. Uh, you know, remember how to do that around corners. In fact, a lot of the times I'll dodge uh, around a corner while spinning up the Vulcans. That way, uh, you know, I'm ready to fire when they, you see there. But yeah, I will say though, having just two Vulcans and just, you know, spitting out all those bullets, I will say it is a bit of a guilty pleasure and it is a lot of fun. So, like I said, the reason why you'd want to get this mech is, you know, if you want to have fun, just see what you can do with it. I, as far as like, uh, you know, like I said, I, I'm probably repeating myself at this point, but as far as viability in combat, it's probably a little bit less viable than the assault mech. But, you know, like I said, don't let that, uh, you know, fool you. Some people actually prefer this mech over the regular assault mech because they just have a really, really hard time uh, landing with their tow rockets and they'd rather just have two machine guns. You know, I can understand that. However, I still highly, highly recommend that you learn to play the regular assault mech and learn how to land tow rockets because that's where a lot of the killing power in Hawken comes from. Is that burst damage and that ability and like, you know, and the secondary weapons in Hawken, those are where uh, a lot of the killing power comes from. And so, 
I highly encourage you to try and learn them rather than, you know, uh, getting this mech because you feel like this mech will probably, uh, is the best mech for you. If you want to main the G2 Assault Mech, all I'm going to say is, is that you're going to come up short in a lot of fights. And also, just as a buyer beware, if you're watching this and you're relatively new and you're thinking about getting the G2 Assault, maybe with Meteor Credits, save your Meteor Credits, trust me, it's not worth the Meteor Credits. Uh, if you're going to spend real money on any other mech, spend it on uh, the other mechs in the game. The G2 is any, any of the G2 mechs. Uh, maybe the G2 Raider, if you really like it, uh, like that playstyle, and you just want to try to get it early or something like that, I don't know. Personally, I'd just say buyer beware on this one, because, uh, uh, the G2 Assault is not worth the meteor credits. Maybe the G, uh, the G2 Raider, which I'll eventually do a video on, which I actually, is actually one of my favorite mechs, but, uh, again, that's for another video. But yeah, the G2 Assault, I wouldn't spend your meteor credits on this, unless you really, 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 really 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 you know i can keep going on unless you really want to but yeah i'd say any of the g1 mechs are you know far worth it as far as like you know options and playability and like as far as viability and combat the g1 mechs any g1 mech is better to spend the meteor credits on not uh, not the g not the g2 mechs g2 mechs is more like if you happen to level up that one uh mech all the way up to rank six and it's just like hey you can you know, get this uh, you know, it, it, I'd say I, I definitely do that because you know, I mean, the main reason why I got this mech is one, because I was doing like all the tutorials and I did promise you guys to do this, but you know, two, I mean, I got all the mechs in the game, they're all at rank six, so it's just like, you know, I might as well get the G2 mechs. So, well, yeah, I have maxed out all the G1 mechs already, so, but yeah, it's like I may as well just get the G2 mechs, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the reason why I got it. I mean, I don't really regret it, I mean, I still have fun with it, you know. So much DACA. DACA, 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 DACA. I mean, it's pretty fun once, you know, mindless fun, what can I say? But yeah, and that's pretty much the reason why I got it. But yeah, I have definitely noticed its shortcomings. So, like, uh, I can't, like, duel inside of shields like I could because, you know, uh, dueling inside of a shield requires some, uh, requires you to have burst damage. And the, the Vulcan XTs, they just do not have any burst damage at all. So, that doesn't work out too well. And of course, you know, me playing Peekaboo, I love me some Peekaboo, but of course, I can't really do it with these. I can do it to an extent, however, it, it just, it's just not as effective as if I was in a regular assault with a regular Vulcan and a tow rocket. I'm sorry, but I love my tow rocket. You, you, you are never going to separate me from my tow rocket. But, you know, even though this, uh, this mech does come default with, like, the detonator as an item, and the item is basically a, the, the detonator is basically a pocket rocket, as I like to call it. It's basically like a tow rocket, like, you can just an extra tow rocket that you don't actually but you know it's oh it's a one-time use so like the, how i'd use the detonator in this and yes i'm actually talking about items but like the detonator i'd use it as you would the tow rocket on the regular assault with this mech but there's been a few situations in this mech where like you know i kind of went around a corner and i know somebody's chasing me i can pop a debt i can turn around pop a detonator in their face you know uh for a little bit of extra surprise damage and kind of ambush them so they don't end up killing me but that's kind of how I like to use the detonator. And I still use the shield on this mech mainly because, you know, I, even though I can't duel inside of it, I can still use it to, you know, put it down and then, you know, uh, stop incoming enemy fire. Or, you know, I can actually still dodge around in the shield while I may not be able to deal out damage inside of the shield effectively. I can still avoid people really, really well inside of that shield. I mean, I've had a, a scout try to chase me down when I was using this mech and I was just dodging and ducking in and out of the shield long enough and then my teammates finally caught up with me and then managed to kill the scout so yeah i mean the shield is still really good like as far as saving your life but yeah and even though i don't have it right now i'm gonna put the repair charge on it because you know uh, health to go is always good right now i have the he charge standing in just because you know i don't really have anything else to put there so and as far as internals i still use the you know the internal setup i always do i still have uh the basic deflectors, you know, for dodging and boosting, I get that 10% extra damage resistance. And of course, I got the evasive device on there too, because in this thing, you're probably going to take quite a bit of damage unless, you know, I'm dodging and ducking and whatnot. And plus, you know, it helps with that, because uh, in this mech, as I said, you're going to want to focus mostly on dodging around and trying to avoid getting hit while, you know, because the, aiming the weapons and using those are really, really easy. So the main thing you want to uh, do in this mech is just avoid taking damage, so... It doesn't, which isn't too hard. All you gotta do is, you know, just dodge rockets. But yeah, uh, I use the evasive device to help me, you know, run away, or like in the midst of a fight, my health is still low. I can, you know, I get a little bit of a speed boost and it helps with my dodging. 
But yeah, and also, of course, I have the air compressor on this thing, you know, just in case I need to, you know, get up in the air, get mean and nasty. Or as you saw, like, earlier, you saw me, like, try to hop over turreted heavy with that and try to shoot it in its behind. You know, I can still kind of do that, because this, it does, this does have very similar stats to the, uh, Assault Mech, and the Assault Mech, you know, it, has, it does fairly well in the air, and so does this, but... Like I said, with flying, just don't linger in the air, especially with this thing, because you don't have a tow rocket to output that extra damage. And unless you have the air compressor, you can dodge, you know, it's just, you're just asking to die. And, yeah, I guess I can kind of wrap up early with this one, but, uh, because of what, you know, me saying anything else about the G2 Assault will just be me repeating myself, but, uh, you know, just as a small side note, I just want to see if anyone knows that, uh, or if they, if they listen at all, anyone knows the which game series that I uh, got the music that I have playing in the background, if you can guess which game series it's from, uh, I'll let you pick the topic of the next Fundamentals video that I do. So if you really want me to, you know, go in depth about, you know, a certain thing, like such as maybe Siege Mode or certain kind of tactics and whatnot, uh, I'll... Basically, I'll go over that, and I'll do that after I finish all the mech videos, because the mech videos that I still have left after this completing this G2 Assault one will be the Infiltrator, then the Raider, then the Scout, then the Predator, and then the G2 Raider. And those five mechs are some of my favorite mechs in the game, so rest assured that you will get some pretty good videos and some pretty good tips and stuff out of out of me for, on those videos so yeah make sure you stay tuned and keep an eye out for those but I'll try to get those guys uh, those videos out to you as soon as I can it's just you know I'm kind of going into finals right now in my uh, college so uh, yeah you're probably not gonna see me on Hawken as much but you know oh well but yeah uh, if you can guess the where I got the music from you get to do that but yeah other than that I uh, yeah <laughs> Looks like everything's wrapping up, and, you know, quick little shout out to my buddy, uh, Zan, who was, uh, playing in this round with me. Yeah, yeah, you know who you are, I'm not gonna say your gamer tech. But yeah, um, yeah. And just so you know, it was the co-op deathmatch, because, you know, uh, I could do actual TDM. Oh yeah, if you want to see me do actual TDM, you can maybe request that too, but, oh well. I guess I'm out of time right now, so, yeah, this is Soldier Hobbs, signing off, and see you next time.